I'll hire one person who watches all the videos. Mm. This is two people who make all the videos that you're watching. All of them. Uh, Sean, Daniel, link in the description. If you haven't subscribed, repent and subscribe it's now. It's kind of messed up. Because we're bros. Yeah. It's uh, messed up that you show favoritism. And my name is Artist Currently Unknown. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Which is hard to sign up for a, a singing talent competition, if that's your name. Yes. You know? Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's funny. Um, so, the title of this video is something along the lines of, like, you should probably never, ever go on any type of a talent TV show, ever. And we'll give you all the reasons as to why, from our own personal experience and from anecdotal evidence. That's from. right. You know, and actually hard factual evidence that we've gathered. Exactly. Reason number one, you're not that talented. <laughs> Just kidding, kidding. We're supportive. We love what you do. But before we jump into that, uh, this video is sponsored to you by DistroKid, and it's a new feature, DistroVid. And actually, you've, you've mentioned I've DistroVid. I've used it. I actually just went to Ireland recently, mm -hmm. and I just shot a bunch of, like, Irish stuff for my Emerald Riders band uh -huh. to make a music video to put on DistroVid, and they, like, deliver it to all the places, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. So, this is actually, the sponsor of this today's video perfectly encompasses the general mes message of this today's video that we're going to try to convey to you, mm -hmm. of, like, independence, self-reliance, and autonomy. So, I've been using DistroKid. And you've been using DistroKid probably long before we did YouTube. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just the best. And that's how we distribute all our music. 20 bucks a year, unlimited. Literally. <clears throat> and now DistroVid distributes all your music videos to all the platforms. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, like for us, having YouTube channels, we can just upload it to our YouTube channels. But not every artist also does YouTube, which we're going to talk about. You should, mm -hmm. but it'll put it on YouTube Vivo with the Vivo watermark uh, and like all the other stuff too. Yeah, Amazon 4K, unlimited, <laughs> unlimited uploads. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. Yeah. And you get all the revenue. that You don't split it with no network, no multi-channel thing. 100%. Literally, through DistroVid. And I think the sign-up, it's just, it's $100 a year. 99 actually. 99, even better. oh, even better. $1 less. Yeah. Uh -huh. Unlimited music videos. Mm -hmm. If you could really? like do that back in the day... Oh my God! Right, you wouldn't have to, you know, slack around on these talent shows. Link in the description, special sign up link. Check it out, and if you have like a bunch of music videos, just do it. Just what's stopping? Do you? it, <laughs> do it. You're so good at that. <clears throat> <laughs> Why don't you want to do on one of these shows? What's up? So, I was on Lithuania's Got Talent. I was a finalist. I was mm -hmm. in Ring. It's like Ring of Young Talents of Lithuania. That's like another TV show. I auditioned mm -hmm. for Britain's Got Talent, Germany's X Factor, Deutschland sucht der Superstar, and uh, German Idol. Wow. And uh, so I have a little bit of behind-the-scenes experience. Let's just call it that. So you should never, ever go on a, on a talent TV show because they will own the entity as soon as you sign the contract. So basically your name and your likeness becomes an asset that belongs to the network and even if you don't make it not even to the quarterfinals if the contract says five years and you can't post anything on your instagram and you can't post anything on your TikTok, then you can't yeah and they will come after you mm -hmm. in some cases you know what i mean yeah but that's why you should probably read contracts before you sign it yeah. This, is, this isn't like the Instagram user agreement, uh, yeah, yeah, where yeah. you just give them access to your bank account mm -hmm. and phone and, you know, camera. This yeah. is real. This is, for, <laughs> this is serious. This is, this is like, oh, and the contract also mentions that this applies to any new forms of uh, media, social media created or yet to be created across the universe. It literally uses those yeah, words. Yeah, right? Because they don't know how to, like... Say what the next thing might be. Yeah, yeah. What? You know? What's the next TikTok? What's yeah. the next Instagram? So we'll just say everything in the universe across all, the universe for all, for all time. time. Yep, that's cool. <laughs> You're ours. You're ours now. Even if we don't want you, you just have to be ours. You know. <clears throat> so did you sign contracts when you did these uh, these shows back in the day? Lithuania had their first season, and they were kind of they just got their license from Britain's Got Talent, so mm -hmm. they were kind of scrambling and they didn't know what they were doing. And uh, so yeah, it was kind of like. Uh, ragtag 
thrown together kind of thing. So the contract was not, it was just like one page, kind of like a liability if a lamp falls on your head <laughs> and I die, it's not their fault. It was that type of contract. Death waiver contract. Just yeah, yeah, pretty that, much, huh? you know, but the rest, yeah. Uh, and I was allegedly supposed to do the tour as a finalist. They put you on this like bus and you go from community house to community house across the different villages in Lithuania. And by the second or third date, I'm like, I'm no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what you're just on the bus? Uh, just on the bus. Like drop you off at the local bakery to play with, a show or with something? a bunch of other contestants that you know were like you know of prominent appearance on yeah, the yeah, Lithuania's yeah. Got uh -huh. Talent, and you go to this like uh, community house that was built in the Soviet times. It smells musky and moldy, and you can smell Khrushchev, you know, and just and there's like a bunch of people like in the in the row looking at these like, you know. Uh, talents you know so no and it's so sad because like most of the time these are young musicians young artists <clears throat> that are being taken advantage of yes like it's so sad and it's the same thing with like signing like a record label oh record deal oh. it's crazy how many people even other youtubers that we know they're like i'm just really trying to get a re i'm trying to get signed oh, you know yeah. what i mean trying to get a deal it's like for oh, what God. like why God. to get like an advance that you're gonna have to pay back yeah, it's or, a loan yeah or if you're lucky enough and no one ever listens to your music, you just owe money forever. You don't have to pay them back because nothing ever happened. Yeah. It's so stupid. Just, guess what? You should start a YouTube channel. Start oh. an Instagram and post your music there or mm -hmm. whatever. Or, you know, TikTok is actually probably like the new music thing, mm -hmm. I would say. So this is, I guess that's a smart thing to do. But you want to be in control of what you do. Reason number two, I would say, and this is really, really important. Like already, like if like you were not scared enough, and and like uh, uh, deterred by us from not going mm -hmm. on the on the talent TV show such as America's Got Talent or Idol or X Factor or The Voice or whatever, uh, if that like oh your entity is going to be owned like for years and years to come across the universe that did not deter you. Let me tell you number two reason. It's it's called reality TV and reality TV is not real. It has a script. It's it has a script. Uh, and uh, the most important people and on any of these shows are the judges. It's essentially, they are the stars of the show, and their emotional reactions to whatever is presented to themselves uh, in the form of like this singer or that uh, magic act, they, they, they're, they're the ones getting paid the most. And they can also, not only like it's stage, but they can also edit. They can film a crowd laughing. And they will use that laughing crowd shot as a B-roll if you do something that they want to make fun of. And then they overlay funny music and then they can like... Create a narrative that did not even happen. Didn't even happen. Yeah. And that's in the contract too, actually, that they, have the, they reserve the right to uh, creative representation of... Uh, of, of, of the facts. Yeah, yeah of, of the assets, you know? Yeah. And it's like, what is that? Well, you're the asset, and the creative representation is they can, they can show whatever they want. And it's like, it's, it's fake. Yes. Like, I, you know, I, I play with a lot of singers on my channel, and a lot of them have gone through these competitions. And so many of them, like, the way it works, they make it look like it's just a cattle call. You just go and you stand in line, and mm -hmm. eventually you get your chance from the judge. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, like, I know for a, for a fact that a lot of these the girls that I perform with, like... They get personal, private auditions that's like, all right, well, we're either going to fast track you onto the actual show mm -hmm. or, or just not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's not how it looks at mm -hmm. all. Like, like, yes, they do have that component where some people are, like, waiting in line. But especially, like, the, the real talent, usually there's, like, a preliminary interview audition rehearsal almost. And it's like, okay. you, you know how they shoot the, the waiting in line bits and then the judges bits? So the waiting in line is shot like months ahead of time, and that's like hundreds of people. Like everyone who received the email, that's mm -hmm. one of the lines that I stood in, and you stand in line. Like it's like basically an all day event with minimal catering because you're starving. Sure. Uh, and then you go and audition in front of some producers. So it's just people with, you know, security clearance and name badges and people with cameras and and they film you. Mm -hmm. And then if you get selected, you get invited back, but they tell you, wear the same clothes that you were wearing oh, okay. two months wow. ago okay. on the street. So when they edit, it appears that you stood in line on the street and they filmed the whole line. Mm -hmm. And now you're meeting either the archetypical Simon Cowell, which brings me to another point of yeah. how it is 
formulaic. Every country's talent TV show has the same archetypes of the three judges. Benevolent older gentleman, a woman in the middle of, uh, you know... The to, hard ass. To appeal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh-huh. then the guy that's pretending to be Simon Cowell. Mm. Every country from Slovenia, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Serbia, Croatia, every it's literally the same formula and they play. It's a role they are playing according to the script. Yeah, and you think that they're going to be there for 18 hours, like just watching just random people just come in and like, no. like Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing when you do get selected in the quarterfinals, it's like it takes like two to three hours and it's like shot in the theater, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like they usually have like an audience and they advertise it ahead of time and then they, then they invite the audience to look at it, you know, and behind the scenes, instead of like flashing signs of like applause or boo, they have a guy who before anyone comes on stage trains the audience. What do we do? If the person is talented, yay, come on, do more. Mm -hmm. What do we do if the person is like, we do like, boo, right? Naturally, no one would respond. Even if someone is not good at singing, even if someone is failing at their magic act and they're like nervous and stuttering, no one would do that. They have a guy that is not seen by the person on stage, that is not shown by the cameras, that is showing the audience what to do. That's ridiculous. That's because, like, if, if you think of it, like, if you're out just seeing live music somewhere, mm-hmm. think of the reactions that you encounter in the wild. Yeah, they're nowhere near like how they are in Extreme. those shows. Extreme, right? Eh? They just yeah. like just amp it up. Yeah, I don't know. Do you, do you? All right, here's a question for you. Do you regret doing these? Because I feel like you've learned a lot through this process. I guess I did it like early enough, and I slid through where. Well, I was sliding through where like I was not. Con- you know, confined by the by the ramifications of a contract over the long period of time. Mm-hmm. So I was able to, like, learn fast. So it's valuable lessons. Okay. You know, so sort of like there's no losses, there's only lessons. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's, uh, that really, really hits. <laughs> so, all right. So here's, here's, here's the real question, though. What do they do instead, if not for these? Well, obviously, if you have original music out there, hands down, distro kit. Even I'll go like as far as like to like, I know it's like sponsored video or stuff mm-hmm. like that. But pers- before ever DistroKid, you know, reached out to collaborate years back, it already beats CD Baby. That and TuneCore. TuneCore. I remember TuneCore being like very expensive. It just back in the day. It was yeah. like it would it would be a lot to put it on. Yeah, line. It, it's like and it's it's like why is it so much? Just because mm-hmm. and and then I I also remember that like you could do it yourself. Like, set up an RSS feed uh-huh. and then put... Like, it was a very complicated process. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, man, this sucks. Yeah. And especially when, like, you're starting out, like, I didn't have, like, you know, like, a hundred bucks a year to have, like, no. her song up no. or whatever. That was, like, a lot for me. No, that's know? insane. And, it, you know, it's at first it's probably not going to make it back right away. No. You know? So you just got to get it up, get it out there, and then see it. That's so why DistroKid's awesome. You got to have DistroKid. If you have music videos, you got to be on DistroVid, post YouTube videos on YouTube. Mm-hmm. presence on Instagram, presence on, on Facebook. And if you are already doing shows in front of people and people are doing clap, clap, you're good. You're entertaining enough to mm-hmm. showcase it and film it and post it, you know? I, 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 I'm a very firm belief that that's the case. 100%. It, yeah. It blows my mind that people don't do this. We know so many people yeah. who are great. that ha- they're, they're playing the shows anyway. Yeah. Set up a camera. Yeah, put it online, and and they'll be like, "Oh, but it wasn't like my best." It was, yeah, it's like it like doesn't you, matter. You, you screw up all the time, and I'm just like, "What? What? Nobody cares, right?" You know what's fascinating to anyone watching? It's the tightrope walking without the safety harness underneath. Yeah, anyone can go in the studio and like do a m- numerous takes and layovers, and then sync it, and then have like a glide cam, oh. and it's so polished, oh. you know, and it. No, no one cares. No. Nope. No, just like literally post it, the show it the way you actually do it in the wild. Think of it, think of a, would you watch like an animal discovery kind of like adventure TV show if it was shot in the studio? But when you know that it's shot in the wild and you, you don't know, you know, they still kind of fake it. Sure. It's, it's, it's an analogy, you know, mm-hmm. but it, it has, it has that element of a, a factor of like uh, authenticity. Authentic. Yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah. 
and you can become the most authentic person someone will ever meet. <laughs> over and over again, right away. <laughs> You know, I wanted to say something else about the talent show thing with the judges. Yeah. Because right? it's like, what are they judging you on? Are they judging your artistry? No, they're only judging your singing ability for what they're looking for, right? It's like, there's a reason that a lot of the winners of all these competitions, you never hear from them again, right? Because sure, they show up and they can slay a cover song better than maybe even the original artist sang it better, you know what I mean? With more range or whatever. But it's not their own music they're singing very rarely in no. these talent shows. No, it's never their own. Right? And that's the stuff that... Oh, I'll tell you. It is not profitable business practice for a network to invest attention and advertisement into an asset that will become Anakin, that will become Darth Vader and leave the network. It is more profitable in the long term to create forgettable characters mm -hmm. that they can control, exploit, kick out, and repeat the cycle again. Yeah. Like you said, the star of these shows are the judges, yes. not the talent. Huh? Yes. Right? And that's why, because, you know, they're under contract, and that's what people tune in to see, really. Yeah. But, you know, again, it can still be engaging, interesting television, I suppose. There's so many more facts that could be mentioned, and if you have, like, more questions, leave it in the comments, because this is probably already, like, a longer video than we have anticipated. But if, if, if this is something that interests you, let us know, and we'll do a follow-up. Oh, really? Yeah, we might, yeah, why not? We're here, we're here to help the people. We're men of the people, if yes. nothing else. Yes. You know? We should start our own talent show, where we're the judges, but we do it righteously. I love how your mind instantly went somewhere else <laughs> that I did not anticipate. Distro vid link in the description. Sign up for Distro vid. Sean channel link in the description as mm -hmm. well. And uh, uh, twenty percent off <laughs> piano book. Uh, link in the description. Use code What Makes Me Great. Thank you. The code never that never expires. It? Never that code expires. never expires. <laughs> yeah, because he's always great. We love Rick. <laughs>